So we're now going to make two delegates, a delegate frame start and frame end. And at the start of the frame, we're going to call frame start. And we're able to just call it like a function since we overrode it, the parentheses operator and frame end at the end of the function. If we run it, nothing should change, but we can now add other things that we weren't aware of when we created these to the delegate. So I could go frame start dot pushback and then some fake function. This notation is what we call a lambda. It allows us to define a function without giving it a name. And it also allows us to capture state. So I can say I here and we'll capture whatever the current state of I is. So as an example, we'll capture I and we can still see out I is and we'll print out I. Now, when we run this, we'll see before every frame, it says I is zero. Well, why is I zero when we can see that's going up? Because we captured the state of I right here. We can instead capture by reference and you'll see that it'll then track the values instead of just a copy. But this is very useful for things like waves and a tower defense or like a bullet impact or a button press and like a, a UI system. Any sort of thing where we don't know ahead of time what behavior we want to happen on an event. And what's extra cool about this is not only one thing happens, we can push back as many handlers, is the word for them, for the event as we would like.